The Lion of Judah is roaring with power. Hey friends, this is The Lion and the Lamb. It's a simple way to chord along to this song. Uh, make sure to stop the video. If you click on the description below, I will have the link to the chord sheet and it'll make a lot more sense as I hop into it. All right, so this song is written in the key of C. So we just have some simple chords. We have C, F, G, and then we have our two minor chords. We have our A minor and our D minor. So let's go through those five chords. So if we look for this group of two black notes, you'll find the C right there. Line up your five fingers and play every other note. And that is a C major chord, okay? All right, and if we move kind of that shape in your hand, I'm just moving these other fingers out of the way, playing one, three, five. If you move that shape up one set of notes, you're in the D minor position. So we have D, F, A, and that's the D minor, okay? So freeze that shape, so to speak, in your hand, and you're gonna play that down in the F position. F, A, C, that's an F major chord. Okay, move up one set of notes. You're playing the G position there, so it's a G chord. And one more set of notes up and we're in the A minor position. We have A, C, E. All right, so just those five chords. So review, we have C, D minor, and then if we shoot down here to the F chord, F, G, and A minor. Easy peasy, right? All right, so left hand is gonna be playing single notes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep thumb on C, line up these five fingers, and keep this hand here the whole song and not move it out of position because I don't wanna lose where I'm at. Okay, so when this chord is played, the C chord, I'm gonna play just C single note. Okay, just single notes in our left hand. When we play that D minor, I'm just gonna open up my thumb one note. See how my thumb just opens up? I don't wanna move my position, I'm just opening up. D to D, okay? And then let's come down here and play F to F, F in the bass, G to G, single notes, and A minor. Okay, so I'm going to sing through verse one so you can see how it sounds when we're going to add these two um, hands together and we're going to add in some rhythm and then I'll break that rhythm down for you. All right, so we start out here. He's coming on the clouds, kings and kingdoms will bow down, and every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise. For who could stop the Lord Almighty? All right, so what we're doing to bring the two hands together is very simple. We're just playing this together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. I call that a one to two ratio. So uh, it works really well with songs that are written in four, four time signature like this one or six, eight time. So it's just a nice, simple marching rhythm. You can kind of practice that on the C chord, any of the chords that we have. Just get your hands used to playing a nice, steady marching rhythm, okay? All right, so let's take uh, verse one together and slow down. And if you wanna just do right hand only and then left hand only, and then bring the two hands together as you're working through that, that is another way to kind of baby step your way towards the final way to play it through. So we're starting out with that C chord. So we have single notes here, chords up here. And we're just gonna play through. So I try to write the chord above the word or the syllable in which the next chord changes. So eventually you'll kind of develop your musical ear to anticipate when that next chord change comes, okay? Uh, all right, start us out. He's coming on the clouds, kings and kings. Okay, here's that D minor. Remember, just opening up our thumb. Will bow. Here's that F chord. Down. Okay, move to the A minor position. And every chain will break as broken hearts D. Here's G. Claire, his F chord. Praise for who could stop the G, Lord Almighty, and then 
that transitions transitions us into the C chord for the chorus, okay? I want to stop just for a minute. I want to talk about patterns. So verse 1 and 2 are going to be the same chords. So once you learn verse 1, you've learned verse 2. Um, also, in that second line of the verse, you can kind of notice oftentimes music will step down. So you're going from that A minor, G, and just keep stepping down to the F, okay? So sometimes you'll see that pattern and that helps your brain to be like, okay, it's just stepping down. You're just starting at the top, murking its way down to the bottom. Okay, so let's also break up the chorus and see if we notice any patterns, any repetition. So we're starting out with C, G, A minor, G, F, G. And then if you'd notice that C, G, A minor, G, F, G repeats itself. So it's kind of like two stanzas or two um two sections of that chorus just repeated in that chord progression, okay? All right, so let's take a look at that chorus. Um, yeah, I was looking to see if the bridge had any repetition. The bridge is really simple. It just has four chords, and that's it. All right, so the chorus starts us out with C chord, and we're going to start us out here. Our God is the lion, the G chord here. Lion of moves right into that A minor. Judah is roaring with power and G chord fighting our F chord battles and every knee will G bow before him. Okay, back to that C and that repeats that same five chord progression again. C. Our God is the Lamb. The G chord, lamb that was A minor, slain for the sins of the world, his G, blood breaks the F chord, chains, and every knee will G, bow before him, oops, sorry, and every knee will bow before the lion and the F chord, lamb, and every knee will G bow before him. And you can kind of feel like there's something that needs to come next with that chord, and it's going to bring you back to a C chord, which is often what kind of brings you back to a verse or the chorus. Notice those both start with the same chord. Um, so anticipate that. Listen, allow your your ear to kind of pick up on those clues. Oh, there's something that needs to go next. What is it? Okay, let's loop back into the verse or let's loop back into a chorus. All right, so let's take a look at that bridge. We start out with that D minor. Okay, so we're opening up this thumb in our left hand real quick. Real easy. Okay. And it's just kind of, who could stop the... And it's going to repeat this over and over. Lord Almighty, okay, to the F, and who could stop the G, Lord Almighty, D minor, and who could stop the Lord Almighty, F chord, and who could stop the brings us into the chorus our god is the lion so you can loop through that bridge several times kind of start out slow start out low in kind of anticipation and work that you know build that anticipation up into the big chorus you know boom here we go our god is the lion all right okay so break it up into sections right hand only left hand only bring the two hands together maybe just learn the verses you know which are the same Maybe just learn the chorus and then learn the bridge and then bring it all together. All right, I'm going to play it beginning to end. I want you to hop along with me. Have a lot of fun. Um, when you find yourself miss, um, mixing up the chord, playing the wrong chord, just find your next words, find the next syllable and the next line to keep hopping in. You will get better. You will improve. You'll have less and less mistakes as you keep going. All right, here we go. He's coming on the clouds, kings and kingdoms will bow down, and every 
chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise for who can stop the lord almighty our god is the lion the lion of judah he's roaring with power and fighting our battles and every knee will bow So open up the gates, make way before the King of Kings. The God who comes to save is here to set the captives free. For who could stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's the sins of the world his blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh every knee will bow before him and who could stop the lord almighty who could stop the Lord Almighty? And who could stop the Lord?